Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. She's shy, she's crafty. My name's Laureen, and today I'm coming on to show you a project share. Um, I'm going to be sending this out soon, so I wanted to um, do the video before I packaged it all up and sent it off. So let me get started. This is a Halloween one, and it's from the Pink Pinkaboo collection, and I just adore that collection. I love the colors, I love the little cute um, design of it, and I'm a cutesy Halloween person, so um, I'm going to get another one of those pads because I've used a lot of it, and I need another one. Well, I don't need another one, but I want another one. Anyway, let me get into what I made. So this is what I made for my... Um, person that I'm sending this out for. These are flower embellishments that I made and this is the package here. Um, that's. I'll take it out of the package just because of the glare so you can get a better look at it actually. So these are the flowers and I thought these turned out really cute. Um, I puffy painted around the edges, did the little center, I did the veins on the leaves like I usually do. I put some little white fine eyelash trim in and um, built them up and yeah, I, I thought they were cute. And then on the packaging one, I just did that one to match in the blue and the white. So that's the flowers that I did. I did these little... Um, little bows here and I thought they turned out really cute they're just little mini bows I did this little bow with the um, fussy cut the little skull out of the, the pinkaboo paper and put it in this little package here and they they just turned out really cute I think anyway so that's the bows and she can use those with, however she likes and then I made these fridge magnets for her and um, I'll show you what I made them out of here. Anyway, getting back to this, I got them in this little um, organza bag here and these are just the wooden cutouts from Dollar Tree and I made her some fridge magnets out of these. So, this is the witch's hat here. This is the witch's hat. And that's how that turned out. Which I thought was really cute. And on the back it's just the magnet. But, um, I put a little flower here. I did the little uh, die cut leaves and painted those on there. I put a little um, shiny band here and a little gem here. And then the witch, this is the witch that I did. And she turned out really cute too. I put a little flower here with some little eyelash trim, a little die cut leaf that I did the veins in the leaf. I did a little shiny band on her hat, painted her face. I hope I'm in frame. Painted her face. And again on the back it's just the magnet. And then I did this cute little pumpkin. And I did some glitter on this one too which I thought was really cute. Pretty shiny. And again on the back it's just the magnet. So that's the, the magnets that I made for her fridge that she can use. And then I did a pocket letter here and this is how the pocket letter turned out. Um, I hope I got it all in frame here. So this is the top of it and I just did some little tiny wooden pumpkins that I got from Dollarama. I put some moss behind it. I got some little grapevine um, stems that I got in my backyard. Um, a little wooden bat here I painted. This is a wooden um, pumpkin and it says Pinkaboo up here and I did the little leaves. I put some little wooden um, grapevine branches behind here. 
I did this little spider here with some um, painted spider web because I don't color like I've said before in my videos I paint everything and that's the little leaf there I put the flowers down the side I put a little wooden spider painted it here I put some little skulls here and I did that down the pocket letter and then the next row is this one and I did a little felt ghost. I did a little witch that I stamped out and painted and a little bat and a little cat and then this side is the owl on the moon and some bats and some stars and then the next one is a little ghost. I painted some pumpkins here. I did a little skeleton in the middle there and then a little bat there and of course I did the the spiders here and the skull here so that's how that turned out and I thought that turned out really cute and then I did the tag on the side and this is the front of the tag here and again I did the little wooden embellishments I painted I did some die cutting here I put some little gold gems here I painted these flowers to match the colors throughout the pocket letter and then on the back I just did a spider theme and it's got my information in here it's got some die cuts for her to use so that's the tag and then I just made a little tassel um, with skulls and beads to match so that's the tassel and the um, tag and of course the pocket letter I thought was really cute I just love the colors in that it's so it's so pretty the pastel colors and then on the back it's just plain but I have got her some little um, things that she can use in her her future projects little die cuts little felt spiders and pumpkins some happy Halloween die cuts here um, some bats, just little things that she can use. So that's the Pinkaboo Pocket Letter Collection that I, I used and I love it. I just love it. It's so bright and cheery, I think. So yeah, that's it. So I hope she likes it. And then I got this little tiny bag here with a little cat on it and inside is a little lapel pin that I thought was really cute don't know if I can get it open my hands sometimes don't work takes me a second <laughs> and inside is just this little cat with the skull pin that I thought she could use so that's what I'm going to be sending her so I hope she likes it. I had fun doing this for her. And with that, I'll wish everybody love and light. I'll thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now. Take care. And thanks for watching.